What's up, Royals? I'm your Shuli King Chris. Welcome back to my channel. I hope this video finds you in a positive place, a positive space. You're great. You're doing well. You're feeling good. What's up? How's everyone doing? Welcome. We're back to the conversation. The conversation has it. And if you're not having a, a good day, a good moment, a good time, a good minute, or a good second, please, I'm asking you, please, do not, don't do it. Nobody else's day up. Just leave people alone if you're having a bad day. Don't mess nobody else's day up because you're having a bad moment or minute. Just, Royals, just don't do it. Let's get into this conversation. Let's get into this conversation. So, Thelma Ferguson went missing on March the 23rd after leaving her Sandy Springs home to go to the bank. She is the mother of the Ariel Lantis housewife star, former star Sheree Winfield. She holds a peach for six seasons of the 12 seasons in Atlanta's Housewives. Her mom went missing on March the 23rd. When she left, she was last seen wearing gray pants, black shirt, and driving a gray 2009 Honda Accord. Sheree kept quiet for it for weeks before she decided to post on her social media about her mom's missing. And she said the reason why, because we all know that she's very private when it comes to her personal things dealing with her family and it was just something that she did not want to share but she was in contact with the police over that period of time trying to figure out where her mom was and she said that it wasn't um it was not unusual for her mom to go on vacations or take um trips without letting them know she did that sometimes and they were okay with her mom um doing that so um, I, that was probably a really big panic for her, knowing that her 77-year-old mom did not return after leaving the bank. There's probably just couldn't even imagine what was going through her mind at that time when she couldn't get in contact with her mom and she hadn't seen her mom for several days. It's really sad um, for that. So we pray that, you know, she has the strength that she needs as she's going through what she's going through. But it is safe to say that Thelma, Sir, Thelma Ferguson, I'm so sorry, Thelma Ferguson, 77 year old, she returned home safe on April the 10th. Sheree made a post saying that her mom was safely home and she was thanking everyone for all the prayers and all her prayers and you know the comfort prayers and her mom made it home safe. So that was really, really good. Um, for her. So the conversation has it. Whew. We know that's probably like a really, really scary moment. Have we taken the time to think about our parents now that our parents are getting older or maybe your parents are already older and have you like sit down and talk to your parents about maybe dementia, or Alzheimer's because sometimes that's the case when elderly people goes missing they usually have some type of a little bit of dementia or something like that going on so those are things that you know we have to start being more visual of and start learning a little bit more of the signs and the symptoms of dementia and alzheimer's not saying that sheree mother had that at all not saying that because she did not speak on why her mom disappeared or what was going on with that situation this is just a general conversation right it's the conversation so let's talk yeah so a lot of times when people are like go into their first signs of alzheimer's or dementia they usually drive off get lost can't remember things misplacing their keys and things like that so it's time like if you have an elderly parent to kind of like start being more visual of them and their memories and things like that and try not to let them leave home and drive by themselves a lot um because dementia alzheimer's it's really really sad to see someone lose their mind their memory it affects your memory and it's really sad to see that like one minute they can remember something the next minute they can't remember something 
And the thing about it is it's really like, it's a painless disease itself. It's the falls and all the other things that comes with it that makes them hurt and cause them pain and things like that. So, yeah, so it's just really sad. I hope, like I said, that's not the case because she did not speak on that. And we pray and hope that is not the case. Once you have worked around patients with dementia and Alzheimer's, it really gives you a sense of life because a lot of these people that has the dementia and Alzheimer's, they're school teachers, they're doctors, they're bedside nurses. And it's just sad to see them there at that state. A lot of times they go back to remembering things and acting like a child. And it's, it's really sad because you don't know what they're gonna do and how they're gonna feel. They sometimes emotional. Sometimes it takes their um, verbal, they can't really verbalize as good. Um, they can't really tell you what's wrong with them. So it's really a sad thing to watch a loved one suffer and it's a sad thing to watch a child come and be the caregiver for their parent and see that their parent is in that state. It's really hurtful, it really is. So the conversation has it. Make certain that we're taking care of our mind, our brains. Make sure that you put that into prayer. That's something that I've always put in my prayer since I've started doing that type of work um, as a part-time gig, working with um, dementia and Alzheimer's um, patients. I like, God, just please let me be able to keep my mind. Let me be able to do things for myself that I'm able to do for myself now. It's, it's, really a, it's really crazy to watch such a life change in these people and watch from the time that you begin to take care of them to the middle, to the ending of it. And usually it comes with a lot of falls and usually the falls, usually what takes most of them out. They have a really, really bad fall. Because you know, as you start getting older, your bones are starting to get more fragile. Um, you're starting to be able to um, get hematomas and your skin is really, really tender. So it starts to tear and rip and the scrapes and things like that. And it's so sad to see that some of them, they do realize that they can't remember and that makes them upset and it, and it hurts them. And also you have some really, really good times with them as well. Sometimes they can go back and they can tell you about their careers. They can tell you about their families. They can tell you about their kids. And then maybe the next day or maybe the couple, next hours, they won't remember it. Sometimes they remember you. Sometimes they won't. So sad. It, it really is sad to see someone go through that. And we pray and we hope that is not the case for Sheree's mother. We really do. We pray and hope that that was not the case. Like I said, she did not state that at all. It's just something that I know that people go through at the beginning of um, dementia and Alzheimer's. It's, um, it's life. We just don't know where life is going to take us. We don't know when we're going to come in the world. We don't know if we're going to come in the world rich, poor, happy or sad. And we don't know how we're going to leave. We don't know how we're going to leave. That's the real sad thing about life. The real sad thing about bedside nursing is you see people die and you see people suffer each and every day. And you go in a room and you take care of them. And it's just, it's sad. It's a, it's really sad to see that someone suffers through dementia and Alzheimer's. It's really sad. It is. Royals, I thank you so much for joining me. I hope you like the conversation. I hope you're great. Please make certain that you subscribe, like, share, thumbs up, ring the bell so that you can keep up to date to all my videos as I load them. Remember, stay home, stay safe. Rona is still out there. She's real. So make certain that you're being safe. You stay at home as much as possible. Yeah, so we have it. 
Thank you guys so much for joining me. Please remember, stay up, never down. Let your haters, all those people that's going around town talking all this mess about you, let them be your necessary royals until we meet again. Until we meet again. Mwah! May God bless.